Yes. And I figured that I might as well show that one of these tents is actually occupied. Yeah, that's so I cool. figured I don't tip So why are you yeah. occupying the park? That is such a broad, difficult question to answer in one stroke. What and have you achieved in the last week? We have achieved uh, gaining substantial ground in organization between organizing our own democratic uh, financial groups, litigation groups, the beginnings of organizing a medical group, um, the beginnings of organizing... Um, do you need a park to do that? Do we need what? Do you need to occupy a park to do all that? I'm not sure that we necessarily do, but there is something significant about uh, what is something of the claiming of public land for our own time and our own use. Um, there is something about a solidarity with many other groups across the nation and across the world. And there is uh, something about having all of us together and sticking it out through the elements, through many different simple difficulties and overcoming them together that is something that brings us all together in a spiritual and multiple other ways that uh, I don't know how to say it directly, but I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. All right. Um, this is basically in conjunction with the Occupy Wall Street. Correct. And to occupy Albany right across the street from the Capitol, why not just go in and try to influence those people? Just go into the Capitol and influence them? So well, we did yesterday. Where were you guys? I, oh, I, <laughs> I got a busy life. I'm, I'm, I, I live in the country. I don't hang out in the city uh, often. So I'm a country guy. So I got enough. a busy life. I got wood to stack. I got uh, kids to get to school sure. and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm not, we're an alternative. Mm -hmm. uh, Venture. We're not like a mainstream media. What is uh? What is your news source or your organization? Uh, Capital, Capital Outsider. Outsider yeah. CapitalOutsider.com. If you go to .com, it'll get you to .org. Fair enough. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I mean, we kind of do our thing. We uh, we frequently interview activists. And, okay. Uh, occasional politicians. We can stick our fork in occasionally and stuff okay. like that. So. Uh, Jeff has been doing it with me for years, and John, a cameraman, Hello, we're, uh, we're kind of going out, and we, we figured, well, we, what we kind of planned on today, mm -hmm. it was bad weather, by the way. Yeah, this by is the a way, beautiful yesterday. way, oh, it's oh my day. God, it's after yesterday, day. you would not have wanted to be there. Yeah, so, I mean, is the idea, this 99% and this 1% thing, you, you want to come out and stand up, is that okay, or are you just too, you're too white for that, it might be a little easier <laughs> for the cameras. Oh, if you're going to be out here dealing with this, you're never too white. All right, that's good. And let me get your name. Andrew. Andrew, last name, don't want to do Andrew that? Kennefick. Andrew Kennefick. Yeah. Andrew Kennefick, where are you from? Albany. Albany, do you know Rick Kennefick? I do not. Okay, I, I used local? to work with him. Yeah, local contractor. So there's more company. of us than I thought there were. Apparently. <laughs> this, this, it's not a completely uncommon name, right? Fair enough. All right, so you guys bring the camera in a little tighter. Let's, let's do a little tighter work. Um, the whole idea that this 1% thing, mm -hmm. mainstream media calls that class warfare. What do you, how do you respond to stuff like that? I don't know that the entire mainstream media calls it class warfare. I a do lot. know that there's a significant a amount of that. Um, I think class warfare is one of those terms that gets used easily enough because it riles people up. Um, I also think that there's a significant amount of semi-discreet class warfare as it is. And that the idea that the vast majority of people, or that what we hope to be a great majority of people, want a better piece of the pie and a lot of us who do a lot so of the if work. So you tax the rich to fight more wars overseas, how's that all work out? Right? Isn't if that tax, kind of what happens? I, and everybody I'm, gets well, I'm I, I don't because... Uh, do, you, do you voluntarily pay taxes? I don't voluntarily pay taxes. The government forces me to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. And I'm against the wars. Sure. So, so I. I see no reason why, why should I pay taxes to prosecute these wars. Right. I, I agree. With, okay. I, I, I thought that your point was saying that we should tax the rich and that our opinion in general would be so that we could be in more wars because I don't think hardly anybody here wants any involvement well, in any I, of the wars that our country is right, involved in. Right. Yeah. But, but this idea that we should get more taxation from the rich, well, that's just enable politicians to go fight bigger and better wars elsewhere? It's possible. I don't know that I'm uh, able to answer that question directly. Uh, taxing the rich is one of the things that is kind of one of the common themes uh, here and across the general uh, Occupy right. movements. And nobody can answer what's fair for the rich to pay. Why, if, if a rich man can pay $500 for a loaf of bread, should he? I think that's too much of a hypothetical question that's out of a direct context. It's very difficult to answer in any kind of reality. Right. But way. what you're saying is that because somebody has more money, they should pay more taxes. Broadly, yes. Um, but I think that a lot of the people here are not thinking in terms of a, a large grayscale of, hey, you, you uh, make more and you should pay more. But there is 
uh, a certain amount of robbery overall uh, with you know how many people's pensions are being cut and destroyed and multiple other things the the way that we've destroyed education in this country what well, isn't that the, all, isn't that all is set up broke. by the government the government does all that for you right the government regulates the government sets up all this stuff the government provides all this stuff and it's always a big mess right that's a very broad set of questions to be answering an interview on camera, I believe. Well, I, I'm, I mean, just, I'm, just, I'm an alternative news guy, sure, right? Fair enough. No, just, 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 it real. just for the broad <laughs> strokes of it, that, uh, you know, broad strokes with specific answers, I think, usually leads to a pitfall. And uh, So you're not anti-government? No. Okay. Why? Isn't it a coercive? Isn't it? Because it's a coercive, fraudulent mechanism that basically is unjustified on, on, on most principles and levels. How do you justify government? You're, well, I mean, what you just said is putting words potentially in my mouth for me to defend right. and negate. How do you how do you justify government? That's a simple question. Well, you justify it by having some kind of organization because in the end, you need some kind of organization in an overarching structure. Even here, we don't have government. Well, but no, we I'm not saying that whether or not you may believe that you need it, but how do you justify the idea that the people inside that capital determine how my life is let down in Niverville, New York? I'm not interested in justifying that. I don't think so many people here are interested in justifying that. So you don't that. need to justify the existence of the government? No, that's not what he, I'm not here to justify right. the existence that's of the government. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. So you accept the existence and you're seeking to influence it? Sure, like I accept the existence of t-shirts. It's just something that exists well, in the world. Yeah, that's, that, <laughs> but, you know, but government, there's a principle behind why government exists and why people justify it throughout sure. time. We'll start with Plato, but I don't think you and I have there's enough a, time. There's an for argument that. for the existence of, of, of money, but in the end it's just basically debt. Um, what is, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your take on money? What is money? Is that fair? Uh, I, Come I on, you don't get uh, well, this from no, the mainstream my, my money, media. I think you know, it, my money is overall than, uh, debt. I mean, it, it, it simply kind of comes down to debt. What else is it? Otherwise, it's paper, it's some numbers, the idea of a gold standard where uh, yeah, gold has some intrinsic value that really works in the modern age, but the idea of the gold standard, as far as I know, as far as I will go with my ability and knowledge to talk about this, is something that was uh, more significant at a time when we had less technology to deal with things. For example, gold was particularly valuable because it's malleable and it's able to be molded into different things like bullets and weaponry at a lower melting point than other precious metals. Today's day, I don't believe that that's something that we have as a basic standard. How so about we, competing we, currencies? Well, as in between our currency, between Canada, between France, with the euro, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, say I wanted to come up with a currency that I said my, my currency is based on Derek Jeter baseball cards. And you can cash mm -hmm. in your currency and get a Derek Jeter baseball card, which has a value on the sure. bar, the arrow for mm -hmm. Eric, right? Gotcha. You know, right, so right, right. It, but, but the government's not going to let that happen. Sure. It's monopoly money already. It just finances wars, isn't it? Right. Well, it seems to me that the, the, the two basic things that we talk about is the kind of the idea of just having numbers on the books and having the gold standard. Those seem to be the, the two, you know, the, the back and forth of it. Um, uh, amongst the occupiers? I don't know about amongst the occupiers, but I think amongst the general dialogue that I hear uh, in the media and people talking, when we've had general discussions, things come up, you know, gold standard versus uh, fiat currency, things like that. All right. um, I don't know that I am somebody with the training to be able to speculate on these things. Actually, actually I can tell you for sure that I am not. Do you have uh, an internet But I also connection? believe... Do you have an internet connection? Of course. So what do you need? Who's going to give you the training? Oh, I'll look all over the internet. And I, I <laughs> Who's going to give you the training about money? Public school teachers, right? I don't know about that. I don't know that economics 101 that you learn in high school is something that applies directly to the world as we have it right now. I'm, I'm, a lot of the principles are there, of course. Supply I never and took demand it. Is I, always I, a They didn't principle. have economics 101 in high school when I went. So. Oh, economics 101, economics basics. You know, you know about the opp opportunity home cost. I took, I mean, I took home ec. <laughs> <laughs> Learning to cook is not quite the same thing. Uh, I understand. Right. I took home ec as well. All right. <laughs> Where were we on our question? Now we're well, talking about I, home ec, making pies. Well, yeah, I go all over the place. Um, well, enough. you know, the, the idea is is that you're occupying this part. Uh -huh. You're attempting to influence media, public officials, general public. I would blanket all three of them. And about with, anybody. I, I, it, it's very hard to put your finger on what this is about. It's hard for me or hard for anybody to think here to put their finger on what it's about. But what you can see is that it's a lot of people who want to be here for some unknown reason that is covered by a lot of blanketed reasons. Well, look around you. We have snow all over the ground. How many of us actually stayed here tonight, ah. or last night? A lot of us. Oh, many people I, love winter, I love winter About camping. About seven or eight of us stayed up overnight, stood by the road, and kept each other company, and kept each other right. awake, kept our toes from freezing by walking around. But we are here. We are hoping to make is, a long-term strategy of this. Is there a break point? Is there something you want, if, if they said, okay, 
We're going to tax the rich a lot. And I have no we'll ability to determine home, that man. because we work thoroughly by consensus. We have general assembly meetings every night. We discuss things. So you guys are like anarcho syndicalists. That sounds like a fun term. Well, that's kind of what they do, right? They they basically you kind of come up with this consensus of how you're going to proceed and do anarcho action. Anarcho syndicalists. Yeah, you never heard of anarcho syndicalists? How about uh, the Holy Grail, Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Of you course. ever seen that? Where he's sitting there down in the ground and he's fighting, and the guy walks up, oh, I'm author, right? <laughs> and he's just, we're anarcho syndicalists. We meet every other week, and you know he does that type of thing. That's <laughs> is that what you guys do? I mean, what do you have a general assembly? What happens if somebody says? No, I don't want that. Forty people that. want to do it, and one person goes, "I don't want to do it." Do you just? Oh no, 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 crack no, him no, in the head and he's gone. Absolutely right? not. Absolutely okay. not. No way. Uh, when we and that, that this situation does come up, it comes up over semantics. It comes up over many different things. Um, it comes up over serious moral qualms. When we have one or two people, typically, who are against an action or against a proposal or against uh, a certain dialogue that we you want to have, give me an example. Anything um, specific? Yes. For example, uh, there was. Um, the Verizon workers uh, strike that was happening over here. We had brought up to the table that we should be supporting these people or whether we should not. Um, a good majority of people did want to uh, support, of course. You know, we're up to 99%. These are workers who are part of the 99%. How could we not? At the same time, they were talking about it being a pig roast. And we did not have the full details because the idea was that Verizon is the pig. So we're roasting Verizon was, you know, in the All right, terms. not the cops. No, correct. No, no, no. All right, all right. But um, there was confusion as to whether there will literally be a pig roasting, in which uh, that's an issue for people who are against animal cruelty, people who are vegan, but then people who are vegetarian. Everybody uh, loves bacon, if, I if, thought. I've heard that it does uh, bring the vegetarian down. Bacon is that thing. <laughs> all right. It's the salt and the fat. I don't know. All right, all right, man, that's um, tough to resist bacon. <laughs> it's true, but now oh, we're driving me out of, off track here. Um, now, uh, the problem with that was that we weren't uh, too sure if there was actually going to be a pig roast, and if there was, that uh, a few people did have very serious moral qualms and were not willing to support that. Right. Um, and in that kind of case, and this has happened in other scenarios, we do our best to make a certain amendment in, in a way to the proposal and see if we can find a way to adjust what we are saying or what we are doing or how we are going to go about the action to also include that person without having any specific uh, serious problems about it. If we can get through it, we call it a friendly amendment, and we try to add that in, and then once we get that, we try to go through with the action. This is all since last week? Mm -hmm. Since Friday. So, do you have bylaws? We have bylaws. Yeah. A lot of organizations are organized Specific around laws bylaws, around here. and they have, you typically they'll follow like Robert's Rules Board, right? There are a few rules very specific of the park. Overall, we have tried to adopt what is um, the Occupy Wall Street's good neighbor policy. Most of the points uh, we have adopted, for example, we have a zero tolerance policy for drugs and alcohol in the park. Um, anybody, we, we so cannot no, be risking no, anything. No coffee, like, no soda, anything with caffeine in it, right? Yeah, I'm not going to go so hard line, straight edge, and All excessive right. with that. I understand that uh, we can go there I think if we want to semantically. Smoking but some weed at night would be a lot of fun in here, I would think. But I guess that gets you in big trouble, wouldn't it? I <laughs> obviously would get us in big trouble. Brownies, um, then, right? All right, not yeah, sorry, you don't no. have to answer that. Uh, it's an easy enough kind of probing question to put to what you're going to assume we're a bunch of liberal hippie kids, right? Uh, not but to, to, not, to get past I'm a, I'm the a, point a, of... We're, uh, we're, a, we're a libertarian news organization, mm -hmm. so we, we, a lot of ways we think we're more liberal than the liberals. You know, we're more conservative than the conservatives. Mm -hmm. You know, um, myself, I'm an anarchist. You're I more have, liberal than the liberals, you're more conservative than the conservatives, you're more opposite than opposites. What, what else no, you got? No, no, I, I don't find any legitimacy in government whatsoever. This isn't about me. Okay. You know, so this is about asking you some questions. But if I, truth be told, I have no use for Albany. I have no use for the capital. I can get, there's no level of government I can't get by without. But that's me. You know? Okay. So, you know, so it's not, I'm not here to stereotype you as the liberal hippie or anything no, like no, that. No, you no, know, no, no, that, no, no. That's a, my only caution there, that's all I'm saying. Fair enough. That, you know, it's not, I'm not just this conservative guy here to bust your your nuts about being oh, a little Oh, no, I understand. It's just, that, you know, the, 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 yeah, okay. Right? I'm not channel 10. I'm not channel 13. I'm just, we're Capital Outsider. We do our thing, right? <laughs> this will be the most inter Place interesting... Place the bad guy so that you're the good guy. Yeah, gotcha. whatever, yeah. yeah fair <laughs> enough. It's all We're fun, giving right? you a chance to, uh, to talk more than a 30-second soundbite. Yeah, right? this, this is true. You are giving me a long time to talk <laughs> here, but you guys get to edit out which parts that you actually like. Well, or it, which parts well, that you want to prove your who's point. Who's going to watch it all, right? That's yeah. the point. Usually. Well, hopefully somebody. You wouldn't be doing this, would you? We, we have no agenda we, but the truth. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I'm willing to believe that. You look like a bunch of good guys. 
right. Well, there we go. We're, see, this, 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 it's not it's not complete it's not complete uh, animosity. Right? Have you been here uh, before today? Is this the first day checking this it out? This is first day for me. Yeah, I don't know. John said he's Gentlemen? been around a little yeah. bit. And yeah, Jeff's, I, Jeff's. I was out of town. I, I was going to come last Friday. I was out of town. Well, at least you're here uh, marking the one week anniversary. Well, that's, well, that's kind of what we thought. Yeah, we'd come down and check it out. Check out the see one how week. It's going. I mean, what what have you seen in the last week in terms of? Are there more tents here from last week? Are people losing their interest? No, nope. overall it has slowly grown as far as the amount of tents. Uh, we do expect a significant amount of people to be coming up from the city tomorrow. Uh, in between today and tomorrow. Uh, by the city, I do mean New York City. Oh, as in, uh, yeah. Probably See, Hudson as well. The, when probably they say, Saratoga when they say the city, well where I'm from, from, it's either Hudson or Albany. But I guess there's some place down the end of the river. Are you from down in Catskills? You from Copake? Where I'm are you from? I'm from Niverville, New York. Columbia Niverville, County. Niverville, gotcha. Columbia County. I was born in Copake. Oh, all right, right. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, Columbia. Yeah. Oh, all right, Columbia County boy. I you love know? that. I love that. Um, but so, I mean, you have as many people as you did last week. Nobody's losing interest. You're, you're kind of keeping it. depends the on the time. Most people work. Uh, and so we have rotating shifts. Some people work days and they're here in the evenings. A lot of people work evenings, but they're here during the days. There are some people who work two jobs and they'll show up for two hours in the evening. We have one gentleman, and like I said, I've been up all night last night. One gentleman showed up at maybe 2 in the morning and, very, and stayed till about very, 5 in the morning. You're very spry for being up all night, too, I have to say. Well, we've had a lot of coffee donations, <laughs> and please keep the coffee donations coming because that's how we keep going in the evening. Um, as we zip around here, is there anybody that you think we should talk to or get in touch with about Anything? our general purpose? You know, just going around asking questions and stuff like that. There's no spokesman. There's no leader. You know, a lot there is of ways, no spokesman. There is no leader. There's a lot, and it's not political, right? No. So it's all in a lot of ways. I say it's a lot like the Tea Party. I don't they, know they, about they that because of, they made a lot of noise. Like, oh, we don't have any leaders. We don't have any. Political. No, I don't believe that's true. I think there's a, a large. Ideologically, they're different, but in a lot of ways, the Tea Party said, no, we don't have leaders. We don't have uh, politics in mind. I think uh, a large faction of the Tea Party was actually funded and set up. I don't believe the that Koch it was brothers. nearly as Everybody much. Everybody think it's yeah. the Koch brothers, huh? I don't think it so was really. So everything down here on the river was funded by the Koch brothers when they were getting together and doing stuff. They just weren't doing that as spontaneous protest against the excesses of the federal government. Well, I did not say that every faction or every specific instance, but I do believe that a large element of it is not a grassroots natural uh, development like is here. Okay. I don't believe that there is a direct comparison whatsoever to the Tea Party and what's happening here. Well, they claim. I'm say, what I I'm don't saying, care what they I'm claim. There's parallels. I'm saying. I'm saying there's parallels. The parallels there are parallels between all claim, kinds of things. We claim, but, they claim no leadership and they claim no political involvement. Those are two parallels that I see between the Tea Party and the Occupy movement. You know, Fine. Fox News claims to be fair and balanced. You know, we can all claim all day long. I'm just a guy from Niverville. I don't know. I'm just I'm a dude just saying, camping I just, in a tent. Just, I don't know I either. But I'm just, so what I'm saying is that I seem to, to me, I've no, the <laughs> two claims that both groups have made is that there's no leader and there's no direct political organization, mm -hmm. right? That, and, and that you don't see that that way at all? Oh, I, I can see your parallel, but I don't believe that it deserves uh, as much weight as to be made into a serious question. Well, you have spontaneous protests that kind of evolve and, and come up and, you know, a lot of claims are that one on the one side is the right and the other side is the left. And, and for the average person kind of looking at that, they look at both of those movements and go, oh, I okay, think there's whatever. something about the general Occupy movement, if you were to call it that, that is more of a broad reaching un, um, international thing rather than uh, the Tea Party which is a specifically American political phenomenon. I don't believe the two are relatable in that way because I think one is uh, well, on no. a much broader no. scale how, than the other. How long has the Occupy movement been going on? And are September? you familiar with the events that have been happening on October 15th? Did you see anything and in Madrid? In Rome, how long and, is the question? How long has the Occupy movement been going? How long has it been going? Yeah, so it was the end of September that they occupied Wall Street, right? And this is you comparing this to the Tea Party? I'm just saying by, is uh, that for you to make the broad general definition claims that you do as someone who doesn't seem to like to make those types of things mm -hmm. that you're you're you're, you're casting a, a kind of a spell over the whole situation that doesn't necessarily exist can you explain that further sure i mean you, you're saying oh well the occupy movement means this and means that i didn't whoa, 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 whoa. i don't think that that's something that i said i said that i think it's a broader reaching international movement i did not say that it has specific what was it that you were just trying to say it's a broader overreaching international movement based on the Occupy Madrid's, Occupy other things that, whatever, right? So that you're claiming something about the movement. Sure. Okay, and I, and I guess for anybody to define or come up with this movement is gonna be problematic, correct? Sure. Okay. I'm sorry, can, actually, can I, uh, before I, <laughs> after I've already said sure, can you rephrase that sentence? 
About what? That last sentence you said that, uh, one more time. About the Occupy International, I mean, mm. it's hard to categorize or generalize about the a movement that's only two months old. Yeah. Right? I yeah. mean, the Tea Party's got a couple years behind it at sure. this point, right? They're losing steam, mm -hmm. right? Um, but, I mean, for anybody to defy the Occupy movement, to define the Occupy movement? To even, I mean, or what is it? What are, to, oh, defy, define, what, I mean, what, what is it? What are they trying, what is the Occupy movement trying to achieve? Is that, a, is that an unfair question? It's not an unfair question, but it's a difficult question to be answered by one person. How about you? Can't you just answer it by one, one person, one answer? No? No. So what's the, end, what's, the, the best end, what's the end game? I think the best answer would be if you were to come to one of our General Assembly meetings and check that out. For, for me to answer for any more people in this park beyond myself, well, when, do not the, something when do I'm the General Assembly meetings occur? Five thirty on, e on uh, the weekday evenings, and we have them at three o'clock on weekends. Okay. Right over here, right beyond the tents. All right. I heard something's going on tomorrow. Is there some kind of big rally going on? You said yes, people and that, that is, uh, it is uh, as far as I believe, it is a uh, National Occupy Your Capital Day. So, to the best of my understanding, uh, they'll be here about what time? Do you know. Uh, the figure I heard is about noon. We're not sure. Okay. We're expecting, um, we don't know what kind of figures, but we're expecting a good handful of people to be coming okay. up from New York okay. City, to be coming down from other local Occupy movements, possibly Utica, etc. a lot of places in New York. Um, as far as any kind of rough estimation of uh, a figure on that, I okay. really have no I, idea. I, I don't I'd know like that anybody in this park has an idea. Mark, yeah. We will be attempting to rearrange uh, our setup in the park with our tents in order to make it a, a more streamlined operation and invite more space for the people that will be coming. Um, and other than that, we're generally trying to clean up and prepare to uh, possibly be hosting a significant amount more people than we've had in the past week. All right. What do you think, guys? Hi. Great. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Thank you for your time.